um, people need to uh, to exercise caution, um, especially those that uh, are not vaccinated um, or who are at high risk. Here in Utah, the COVID-19 endgame bill is now behind us. And Utahns are gearing up for the first major holiday since restrictions started to loosen up. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. I'm Amy Ne. And I'm Brian Schnee. Fox 13's Spencer Joseph has been talking with local businesses about how Mother's Day tomorrow is making up for some lost time. Spencer. Good evening to you both. And of course, anywhere you are in the state, you're going to face a little bit different COVID-19 restrictions. And of course, places are still free to enforce their own guidelines. But those establishments that we've talked to today say that because the end game bill is behind us, people are feeling way more comfortable and they're ready to go out. And some of them for the very first time to celebrate Mother's Day with their families. Hello. How can I help you? Just picking up the dollar for Alex. Flowers really do make a difference. It's been important in our lives. It's a busy day. Hillside Floral. Your total is $52.50. Your total is $8.47. Last year was our biggest Mother's Day ever, and I, I think we'll fully eclipse it this year. With this Mother's Day falling right after the state's endgame bill, many like are seeing their loved ones for the first That's time. For some reason, it seems like the floodgates have opened a little bit, and people are ready to move around. So flowers are a must. To see a grandmother that they haven't seen in a year at an old folks home. They've spent a lot of time away from their family, and this allows us to all get together and feel better about our lives. Even for Jerry Rose, he too is getting together with his family for the first time Sunday. We haven't done in a very long time, so this is a real breakthrough for us. Getting together also involves the food, and that's where Kimmy's Chop and Oyster House is going to be very busy Mother's Day morning. Oh my God. I'm so excited. You can't believe it. We have 260 guests tomorrow. This is Kimmy tonight, from Kimmy's Chop and Oyster House. It'll be almost a thousand in the last four days. This is like completely insane. And for her, getting back out may taste a little sweeter. I think their taste buds are actually enjoying things more now too because they've been bottled up for so long. So whether you're getting ready for the brunch rush. I mean, everyone that's calling, they're like, hey, we want to come celebrate mom. What can you do for me? Please, please, please help. We're picking the perfect bouquet. And I think flowers are a big part of that. It makes people excited to go out and visit their, those that they love. This Mother's Day will be quite a bit different from last year with the pandemic closer to an end. I just want people to still be safe and use caution and just know that we all love you and we want you to come back and visit us. Happy Mother's Day! <laughs> So Kimmy's is definitely going to be busy, but what about other places? Well, I did some homework for our Fox 13 viewers, and if you haven't already gotten a reservation, well, you might be out of luck. I probably called about 20 restaurants today, and there wasn't a single opening for anyone to come tomorrow morning. Uh, so you might want to take a trip to the grocery store if you haven't made those reservations and get good at cooking. And of course, happy Mother's Day to all those mothers, my mother and everyone out there, all those mothers from Fox 13. Uh, thank you so much for all that you do. But for now, live in Sugar House, Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.